Hello, this is Sharon Graham. Thank you so much for joining us today for Holidays Made Simple, Thanksgiving Gratitude Edition. And I'm here with my co-host, Willie, out of Texas. Thank you for joining me, Willie. And thank I Thank you for having me. <laughs> And thank you all for joining us. Um, I'm Sharon Grimm. I'm out of Massachusetts. And we're going to get this car demo on the road. And we really hope you find this super helpful. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to go to the website and already logged in to send out cards. So this is what it should look like. If it by chance doesn't look like this, hit the little upper left-hand envelope. And that will bring you right back to the home screen. That's my tip of the day for this video. If you didn't learn anything, there you go. Um, if you would like to see videos that show you how to upload contents, uh, your contacts, put in groups, and numerous other holiday sending tips, just straight go to your account and it will be like where your picture is or maybe your letters down this left-hand side panel, lower one, and you can hit the resource center. That's gonna bring you to these awesome little click on this is a holiday checklist in here it has everything from picking out your holiday cards dead uh deadlines for like i think it's november 15th for christmas but if you're sending thanksgiving you're good right now it's early november holidays made simple videos not just this one but many others are all right here scroll down more and you go straight to the tutorials and other videos so it was account and then resource center lots and lots of information. Well, today we're going to send a Thanksgiving card and it's really nice to connect with relatives that aren't there at the table. It's also great to thank your clients and customers. Joy Kohanis did a great video on that just before this one. Go check that out. She does two wonderful cards if that's what you're looking for. I'm going to go into Thanksgiving. I could type in Thanksgiving right here in the search feature. I could click on holiday. I'm just going to use the banner. This is a great tool. Whatever the latest holiday is coming up, the banner will have the cards right in there. There are so many beautiful cards here. I'm gonna choose one that's called a, a photo drop card right here, but feel free to click and, and explore as you're trying to choose which card to send. So family Thanksgiving, I'm gonna hit customize. I know I'm gonna click off a two panel, that's our default. I'm gonna go with a flat card and I'm going to choose not just the standard gloss, but I'm going to put in the pearl. It adds a little extra cost, but it gives it a nice touch for the holiday. I'm going to hit next and stay in the current editor. And then it takes a little second to load the card. All these pictures here with this beautiful couple, that's where you want to put your pictures, else they'll print theirs. So I'm going to go here and click on image and start. I'd already uploaded the images that I'm using into Sendo Cards. If you haven't, Click upload image in the lower left and start bringing them in off of your computer or if you're on the app, off the phone. Let me see. There was a group photo. We had a family reunion and we went on a lake and we had lots of fun on the lake. And I'm just going to size in the pictures, make them a little bit bigger. This is my sister-in-law's. We're having fun. Um, let's see. There was another photo I wanted to put in here. This is when we're at a dinosaur zoo. And this is another one in here. We were at that same dinosaur zoo. And it says, get your fat pants ready. Wishing you a happy Thanksgiving full of food, fun, and comfy waistline. So this is meant to be a little funny. You can have a serious card too. That's okay. We like to joke around in our family. On the back of the card, so this is the flat card. I'm going to put some text that I'd already written out. This is what's amazing. We have lots of fun fonts to use. I'm just going to size this down. And some of them really look like handwriting. Um, this is our go-to font. I'm not sure the name of it, but I'm going to click. I like this new one. Willie, have you checked this one out? The Create Round. It's just so easy to read. Yeah, got a thumbs up. Awesome. And then here, I'm going to make it look like we actually signed it. And there's a couple of them I really like. Patrick Hand is kind of casual. I could do, oh, this one. That looks like we actually did it. At least my husband's. <laughs> and I'm going to pick 
I love how we have this new color matching. So the front of the card had a lot of these colors right here on the left, or I could click on the color palette. So I'm gonna do a darker brown. And on the background, instead of the white, I'm gonna play around and see how these other, ooh, I like that. That looks nice. And it just has the color palette of Thanksgiving to match the front of the card. There we go. That's the front and that's the back. I'm gonna click checkout. Now, right now we're looking at the beginning of November. Thanksgiving is November 24th this year. So I'm gonna schedule this card and not have it go out immediately. So you can actually tell the printers when to print the card. And that's right here. It, it's default is send immediate. So I'm gonna click send and I'm gonna scroll down here and click send on a specific date takes about ten, uh, seven days for the card to arrive. So I'm gonna go out for 10 days before on the 14th of November. It'll arrive a few days before Thanksgiving and that's good because this is going all over the country to all my husband's sisters and brothers that live all across the country and wish them a happy Thanksgiving. How do I do that? Well, I have to pull in their addresses. So I'm gonna hit add recipients. And I've already loaded their addresses. Remember before in the beginning, I talked about the tutorials, just go there to learn if you don't know how, it's very easy. And I'm gonna hit view groups and I'm gonna type in, I have lots of groups in here. I love this group feature. And, oh, I'm sorry, it was called family. The Grimm family, there we go. Hit done. It's gonna load in the recipients. So I have the card, I have who it's sending to, I have a return address, which is already set up in there. And then I'm gonna hit ready to send. It's showing me that there's six cards going out. I've already got that prepaid from our system sends from the package that I'm on. Check that out with whoever sent you here, they'll set you on the right package or look up the pricing and have any questions, use the chat feature to ask and hit send, just paying for the postage. So those are queued up and ready to go and out the door. What did that take us, just a few minutes? We couldn't even sit and order and design the cards online. And we'd have to wait a couple of weeks with some of these folks. And it's all done for us. So thank you so much for watching. I hope we helped you make your holidays a little simpler. And thank you for using send out cards to create relationships, whether business or professionally. Take care. Thanks, Willie. All right, I'm going to stop sharing and then I'm going to stop the recording.